Do you realize that Hitler only had one ball? A lot of people aren't aware of that. Hitler only had one ball. Well, actually, it was an undescended testicle, but what you see is what you got. Hitler only had one ball. People didn't know it at the time. People kept saying things like, Jesus, that Hitler, he must have a lot of balls, you know? <laughs> no, one. He started all that shit on one ball. The British Army knew about it. The British Army had a song for him. Hitler has only got one ball. Goering has two, but they are small. Himmler has something similar, but poor old Go Balls has no balls at all. Ah! ah. So, thank you. Well, so it's music you want. Well, by God, it's music you'll get then. I'm a musical fella, and I like my music, and I like historical things about music, like that little Hitler anecdote. Things that are from musical history. Do you realize that the Mexican hat dance was written by two people? Nobody knows that. Two guys wrote the Mexican hat dance. The first guy wrote, ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun, and the second guy wrote, ta -dun, ta -dun, ta -dun. think about it now. If it hadn't been for that second guy, the Mexican hat dance would have gone, I would have turned the fucking thing off after about 18 minutes, to tell you the truth. They were so happy with what they did, they went out to celebrate. And they met another guy, and he went... This is the kind of shit history is made of. Musical history. You know why I do these things? Because I'm a musical guy. I'm a music... Besides being a balloon fellow, I'm also a musical guy. I love music. I'm musical. See, I use that adjective for myself. I'm, I'm musical. I'm not musically talented. That's different. That's a distinction that's made. It's a distinction that's made usually by people who are musically talented. You've heard them. They'll say, is he talented? They'll say, oh, no. He's musical. That's me. I'm musical. It means if you hit me in the head with a pipe, I make a noise. <laughs> and I'm like most people. I've written a few songs in my life. You know, I think a lot of people who are musical, they, you write a song, you, you might be lovesick or something, you write a little poem and you have a tune for it and you put it away and you don't show anybody. But I've written a few things. I wrote, uh, I wrote uh, if I give my heart to you, will you give me a receipt? I got you out of my heart, but I can't get you out of my apartment. Every time I sleep with you, I realize you're tall. What else? Well, I'll think of them, lots of them. I wrote one love song you might have heard of. Here's one you might have heard of even. Uh, Kiss Me, I'm Coming. Do you remember that? Kiss Me, I'm Coming. Ah! And it goes on like that for about eight minutes, hopefully. <laughs> Yeah. I wrote another one. I wrote, Nobody Knows How I Feel, So I Keep It to Myself. That's kind of nice, too. Also, I wrote a love song for fish. Can you imagine? I did. I wrote a love song for fish. Somebody had to. Mrs. Paul didn't give a shit. <laughs> Swimming around nude in a tank full of fish sticks. I don't care for that lady. I wrote a nice love song for fish. It's called, Lay Some Eggs in the Sand and I'll Squirt Some Jelly-Like Substance on Them. Well, I found fish are very direct in their communications. Also, they'll dance to just about anything. I wrote a country song. You like? I heard your reaction to the country question earlier. I wrote a country song. It's called Drinking Beer, Taking a Shit, and Passing Out. <laughs> well, you got to really be a country fan to like it. Also, you ain't been right to me, so I'm going to womp the piss out of you, but for some reason they won't play it on the FM station. Oh, I'll get to the words. I got a longer list than seven by now, believe me. We'll get to that. That's at the end. Yeah. Something else, though, about, about some songs. This is my little musical break, and I, I kind of indulge myself, so yeah, I have to kind of go along with it. Instead of taking a real break and going out and lying down, I sort of just talk a little about music. I do folk music, too. I do folk songs. Not, not hardcore folk music, you know, but I do sort of a crossover folk, kind of a pop folk. Pop folk, sort of a country pop folk reggae kind of... Classical folk, classical music is what, uh, folk, uh, sort of a boogie folk, you know what I mean? It's a nice kind of folk. I do one, here's one that everybody loves. If I were a carpenter and you were a lady and I hit you with a hammer, would you think I was crazy? Broadway show, someone yelled, hey George, how about a Broadway show tune? By God, I do them as well. 
Broadway show. Here's one that everybody loves, especially you. Away out here, we've got a name for rain and wind and fire. We call one rain, we call one wind, and we call the other fire. Well, it seemed like the way to handle things, one name for each phenomenon. Sometimes I do this, but not tonight, I hope. Okay. Certainly. What else? Wait a minute. I got a couple more songs before I get this out of my system. You know what pisses me off in music? No one can tell me the rest of the words to ta ra ra boom dee <laughs> Doesn't this make you mad? Everyone knows the beginning of the goddamn song. Everybody, in fact, people get cocky about the beginning. They go ta ra ra boom dee <laughs> Nobody knows the rest of it. One guy told me it's ta ra ra boom dee Did you get yours today? I got mine yesterday. That's why I walk this way. Um, I don't think that's it. Another march they never taught me the ending to. Oh, the monkey wrapped his tail around the flagpole to see his asshole. Dun, dun, dun. And they leave you hanging there, you know, just like the goddamn monkey. Well, now that I got you in this martial mood... I always think of sports when I think about marches. I was in the band in high school, Cardinal Hayes Band. Ah, I love that shit. And I found out, yes, I played third trumpet. Third trumpet is the kind of thing where if you play it, you wouldn't recognize the goddamn song. I played third trumpet, and I found out very early in my high school marching band career that it is impossible to play the trumpet, read music, and march intelligently at the same time. So I said, fuck the first two, I'm going to march intelligently. Because people can see that from a distance. They can't tell if you're fucking up the music. They can by God see if you're going like this. So I march like a, oh man, I march good, but I wasn't playing shit, just going like that. That's the way you keep alive in the world, you have to make choices. 